so guys, what is the cheapest way to get rid of your leaves? And no, we're not gonna use the Toro snowblower. <laughs> So whether you're a homeowner or a professional like myself, we all have a lawn mower. Whether that's a push mower, a stand-on mower, whatever you got, it can work. So no matter which mower you have, it pretty much has standard blades on it. It could be medium lift, high lift, whatever comes on it. But let's go give them a try first. So to make this fair on the regular blades, first what we're going to do to make it just a little bit better, we're going to go ahead and keep the quick shoot closed on the mower so we get all that mulching action up in there. This mower does not have a mulching kit on it. It has just standard baffles that come with the right ZK. But we're going to see if what we're going to do to the mower will make a difference. Let's go ahead and give these a try. can see it will definitely mulch them up but how many times you're going to want to run over your property when it's soaking wet like this we've literally had rain every day for the last week here in Ohio to the point where we can't even get onto our customers lawns so let's see if we can do a little bit better than just this here You might be saying, Sean, what are you going to do that's going to be cheaper for one and make the job a lot faster? Well, guys, I have something for you that almost everybody can do, and they make it for every single mower. So all of you know what this is. This is a mower blade, okay? There's different sets of them. This is deemed a high lift. So if you ever hear of high lift, medium lift, all it has to do is with this whole lip here, okay? I like running high lifts almost all year long, except for this time of year, guys. But this, this blade here will give you a really good cut for grass, but for leaves, it's not the best. So what happens here is as this blade is spinning, okay, it cuts the grass. Well, imagine the grass is here. It cuts the grass, the grass flops over here, and then it lifts it and throws it out the chute, okay? So this blade's spinning really fast, so are you obviously going to get some form of mulching? Yeah, it's, it's going 5 billion miles an hour. Just kidding, but you guys get the idea. It's gonna cut things up into little pieces because it's going really, really fast. But this blade is not designed to mulch. It's designed to cut and get it out of the chute as quick as possible. So what can you do that's a cheap option to put onto your mower that'll take care of the leaves? Right here, guys. This is a gator blade, a mulching blade. They call it a bunch of different names in a bunch of different areas. But long story short, if it has these teeth on it here, these are meant for mulching. These things will rip and destroy. So kind of like the other blade, you get that lifting action. So whatever comes in here is gonna lift and then these blades are gonna shred it. But these blades are not great for cutting grass, okay? If you want a good stripe, I should say it like that. Will they cut grass and disperse it? Absolutely. But if you want a nice fine stripe like we do as professionals, this is not gonna be the blade for you. But what we're doing today in leaf season, fall, this blade is the blade that you want. Those teeth right there will absolutely pulverize leaves. So because it's freezing, we're going to go ahead and fire up the old uh, heater here. get this off real quick just so it's kind of out of our way too so we're not changing blades in the way so as you guys know i put the lift system in here this thing is phenomenal guys just make sure you do it right i'm gonna blow 
little bigger than Toro's going up. There's plenty of room. We'll throw a jack stand under here and get started. I forgot my top washer. All right, new blades are on. Let's get this jack. Always block your back tire also, guys. Beautiful. All right, I'm not even gonna worry about the covers because I'm gonna blow this thing out once we're done. So uh, let's go give it a try. All right guys, so remember what the regular blades did. Those are just high lift standard blades that come on the ZK. Let's go ahead and see what the mulching blades would do. I found this is the cheapest option to get rid of your leaves, and it's easy. Like much of a difference but if you get in here you're gonna find this compared to this there's a big difference okay see the big big lease in there this is more like a fine powder now there is still a little bit more but if you run something over you know what I'm saying you're gonna get a much finer material out of the mulching blades
So if you're wondering why did I open up the chute, well simply I'm mulching them up and then I'm going to open up the chute to help disperse them back into the lawn. Just kind of makes the lawn look a little bit better and helps them break down evenly over the lawn. All right, guys, so you might be saying, but Sean, I can still see the leaves. Guys, you're going to still see the leaves. This stuff is absolutely soaking wet. But the great thing about this is this is the best material to put back into your lawn, okay? Homeowners, a lot of times they don't know that, and it's your job to educate them. Your customers might not want fertilization, but this material right here in one month from now is not going to be here anymore. This is going to go into the soil, especially if you aerate. This is going to go back down into the soil and it is just going to make this property property absolutely gorgeous next year okay you don't have to really worry about this material sitting there and matting up and killing off the dead spots now like some of the bigger leaves and stuff you'll probably want to hit those one more time but my backyard is absolutely drenched right now guys i'll, I'll give you an example here watch cell tq let me get up higher so i can show them how much water is in the backyard so you see this area right here guys that is all water just sitting in my backyard. That's how wet it is right now. Definitely not the best conditions to show uh, a leaf mulching video, but hey, we've been wanting to do it. We have the time. And as you can tell, if you take a property like this that is absolutely covered in leaves, you can just mulch them in. This is by far the fastest and cheapest way for a homeowner or professional to get rid of leaves onto a customer's property or at their own house. So that's why you go ahead and just leave the deck covers off in the fall because you're consistently going to want to clean this whole entire deck out. Saves your belts, saves your pulleys. Your deck is like a vacuum, guys. So when it pulls grass up in there, clippings up in there, it spins it around and its job is to get it out of this opening as fast as possible. So with the high lift blades that we talked about earlier, sometimes if you see this, the grass sticking to the bottom of the deck, that's the blades doing its job. So it lifts it up and it sticks to the bottom of the deck, spins it around and throws it out. But sometimes it doesn't get it all out because stuff is just super wet and it'll clump up. That's why you get that grass sticking up into the top there. That's why some people don't like high lift blades, so they'll go with a medium lift blade. Uh, but going back to what I was saying, just get innovative. A lot of mower brands, even push mowers, will make some form of deck cover where you can close off that deck just to keep that overall deck and that shroud in there closed off so you can get optimal mulching capabilities out of your mulching blades. And for any of you that are wondering which headset I'm wearing, these are the brand new Isotune links. Coach Spencer will save you 10 bucks over there at Isotunes. I'll drop a link down in the description. And I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace. Bye.